Hi, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. I got a response to a video that I posted about uh, the 10 day notice to, to quit, you know, the move out notice, or we'll take you to court. And this woman or man, Jane, whatever her name was, seemed angry at me and said uh, that, uh, excuse me, that, you know, I don't take responsibility for myself. That I don't take responsibility for my actions, for my life. And that really bothered me for some reason. And I want to look at that. Hey, I'm getting a drink from the fire hydrant. Mm. One of those things in New York, almost equivalent to walking through the woods and finding a stream. Anyway, it really bothered me, that statement. And usually, things that people say don't bother you, unless, uh, you know, unless they hit home, unless they have something to them. You know, if somebody calls me fat, I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, so, let's look at this now. On the surface, you know, if you look at me through the eyes of a person who has been programmed by television, media, and uh, social and political controls, financial controls, education, etc., has been programmed to respond and react in very particular ways. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm walking around New York. It makes me a little nervous at times. So, brrr, lost my train of thought. Yeah, when there's a threat or a perceived threat, then I go into this panic mode and hypervigilance sets in. And living in the city with these millions of people, there's constantly a threat. So, through the eyes of someone who is not particularly self, you know, I, I don't know. You can look at yourself, you can go back through your entire life, and you can consciously remember every event, every person, every action and choice, if you can, that affected the outcome of where you are now. Uh, and then when you start getting into things like victimology, I'll say it again, victimology, the science of victims, uh, when you become victimized, when you are victimized, you know, when you're beaten or raped or shot or kidnapped or, you know, your mind has been invaded and your life has been invaded and you've been blacklisted and genetically manipulated and drugged and, you know, I'd say that's an assault, so when you're under assault, and you cannot defend yourself, you do the best you can. You know, you struggle to survive, but the person or people or entity or whatever situation that is victimizing you has the upper hand. This happens in life many, many times. And uh, you have to accept it, you know? You can fight against it the rest of your days. It's not going to change the outcome of that one moment in the past. Um, so you have to accept it. And you have to accept whatever it was, whatever your shortcomings were, whatever your inabilities were, whatever your fears were, whatever your bad choices or inactions or, or whatever were. You have to face them and understand them. And, uh, you know, sometimes they were the right choices. They just didn't work in this situation. Sometimes they were, uh... anyway, you get the idea. So, a victim has to come to terms 
with their victimization. To not do so is to invite pathology. And pathology is basically brought about anytime you repress uh, psychological functioning, normal, healthy human function, excuse me. And in our society, we are bombarded with subliminal, subconscious messages from the day we are born, possibly from the moment we're conceived. And uh, our subconscious mind takes these images in, these attitudes, these ideas, these behaviors, these patterns, these patterns of behavior are reinforced through emotional, uh, you know, heightened emotional experience and repetition. And these patterns will become ingrained and second nature to your subconscious mind. And supposedly, when your conscious mind is otherwise uh, occupied, you know, when your conscious mind is busy thinking about the past or what you're going to do in the future, um, and then it's distracted from the moment and you can still function, you know, automatically from your subconscious awareness that's been pattern trained to behave in these behaviors. So you revert to this behavior and you don't even know that it happened unless you're highly aware and in which case your conscious mind will not be somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? Uh, these thoughts are based on a talk by Bruce Lipton and uh, some other thoughts that I've been having. So the, uh, the whole issue of not taking responsibility for yourself when you've been victimized is, um, uh, you know, it's a big issue. And, um, Are you on the program? Yeah, excuse me. All right, I just want to know, do you want any Xanax? No, thank you. Thank you. So, now that I've been propositioned by the local medicine dealer and refused, I can finish what I was saying, although I've forgotten my thought. You know, this world is crazy. So, you have to... Uh, ah, I lost it. All right, let's start again. Um, those are my thoughts for now. I'll bring in part two. Thanks for listening.